Construct a stem and leaf plot of the test scores. How does the stem and leaf plot show the distribution of these data? So let's go ahead and do this by hand, and then I'll show you how to do it with uh, StackCrunch. So when you're making a stem and leaf, um, I'll go ahead and write the numbers down first. So 67, 73, 85, 75, 89, 89, 88, 90, 98, and 100. And so the way a stem and leaf works is, say, take, for example, the number 89. Someone a long time ago decided uh, to cut this in half. And so 8 is the stem, and 9 is the leaf. So for example, for the number 98, uh, 9 is the stem, and 8 is the leaf. For the number 100, uh, 10 could be taken to be the stem, and 0 is the leaf. If you had a one-digit number, like 7, you could think of it as 0, 7. So that 0 is the stem, and 1 is the leaf. So you draw a little table like this. Then you have stems, and then you have lead. So you write down your stems smallest to largest. So the smallest stem is 6. The next one is 7. The next one is 8. The next one is 9. And the next one is 10. So those are our stems. Now you write down the leaves smallest to largest. So for the stem of 6, the smallest leaf is, six, is 7. So 7. That's it. There's no, uh, there's no other um, numbers with the stem of 6. For the stem of 7, we have 73 and 75. So that would be 3 and 5. So check, check. For the stem of 8, we have 85. So 5, see, 8, 5. Then we have 88. Then we have 89, and then 89. So it appears twice, so you have to actually write it twice. And then for 90, uh, for 9, rather, we have 90 and 98, so check, check. And then for 100, uh, for 10, we have 100, so just zero. So that's our stem and leaf uh, graph. You can do it uh, with StackCrunch, so watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and um, click question help and StackCrunch, and then just type the numbers in. So it was 67, 73, 85, 75, 89, 89, 88, 90, 98, 100. And then you go to graph, stem and leaf. Okay, so graph, stem and leaf, you left click, pick var one, and then just click compute. And there it is, it's exactly the same thing we have written uh, over here on the left. Let me do it again. So you click on question help, you click on stat crunch, um, and then you type in the numbers which we already typed in, and then you go to graph, stem and leaf, left click, pick var one, click compute, and there's the graph. All right, so let's go ahead and pick the correct choice. Looks like it's gonna be um, D. Good, good stuff. Uh, continue, see what it wants. How does the stem and leaf plot show the distribution of these data? So before we look at the choices, um, you can think of a stem and leaf kind of as a histogram, uh, except instead of classes, you only have uh, stems, right? If you rotate this, it's going to look something like this, right? Kind of looks like a histogram, right, if you, if you spin it around. So in this case, it's, it's roughly normal. This, this, this graph is approximately normal. So let's see. The lengths of the rows are similar to the widths of the bars in a histogram. Longer rows of data correspond to higher frequencies. Okay, so let me read that again. So the lengths of the rows are similar to the widths of the bar. Actually, that's, that's not correct. Uh, the lengths of the rows are not the widths of the bars. The lengths of the rows are the heights of the frequencies. So heights of the bars. So the lengths of the rows are similar to the heights. It's this one here. So um, the lengths of the rows correspond to the heights of the histogram. So uh, it's kind of difficult to read uh, three incorrect choices. So always take your time on these follow-up questions. I hope that made sense.